I recently wrapped up a full week of driving and reviewing the all-new 2023 Honda CRV Compact SUV. This year it has a more distinctive and adventurous look, a roomier cabin, and long overdue tech upgrades. The hybrid model, which I had, got a modest power bump with more cargo space, while several new active safety features joined the list of standard and optional equipment. The CRV comes in four trim levels, EX, EXL, Sport, and Sport Touring. The base trim level, the EX, starts just over 32 grand. The Sport Touring, right around 40 grand. During my research for the CRV, I came across a list of the top 20 compact SUVs for 2023. Here are the bottom five, and they might surprise you. At number five was a 2023 Chevrolet Equinox. It offers spacious seating, a user-friendly infotainment system, and above-average fuel economy. However, an underpowered engine and a bland interior contributes to an overall package that trails the competition. It's a solid compact SUV that can comfortably seat five people inside. It's feature-filled cabin. It has a stable ride and capable chassis, but it does not stand out in any area. Many rivals offer roomier cargo areas, nicer interiors, and stronger engines. It did get a minor horsepower boost for 2023, 175 up from 170, and the entry-level LS trim now offers Midnight Edition and Sport Edition packages. It has a starting price of 26.6 in its base LS trim, which is average for the class. The mid-level LS and RS trim start between 27 and 30 thousand dollars. The top trim level, the Premier, starts just around 31.8. If you want to upgrade to all-wheel drive, that'll cost you an extra 1,600 bucks. At number four was the 2023 Jeep Wrangler, which is a solid off-road vehicle. However, its charm starts to wear thin in daily driving due to its firm ride, cumbersome handling, subpar fuel economy, and a noisy interior. Yes, it's a great pick for some people, but a very poor choice for others. To its credit, it is extraordinary when it comes to off-road capability, and it's offered with a diverse and muscular engine lineup that includes a four, six, and eight-cylinder along with a plug-in hybrid option. The interior is well built, the Jeep's touchscreen infotainment system, easy to use, the four-door unlimited models are also very spacious, both for passengers and your cargo. On the downside though, and that's why it's number four, the Wrangler isn't very comfortable to drive on a day-to-day -day basis. Its rugged suspension has trouble soaking up bumps and dips in the road, and the steering can feel disconnected, and fuel economy is among the worst in the compact SUV class. The interior also noisy, especially for soft top models and active safety features are few and far between. The only thing really new for 2023, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and air conditioning join standard features of the list. It has a starting price of just over 30 grand for the two-door models, 34 grand for the four-door models, which is fairly high for a compact SUV. The mid-range Sahara trim starts at 44, but the range topping Rubicon 392 starts around 80 grand. Third worst on the list is the 2023 GMC Terrain. It has a very spacious interior, easy to use, tech features, and an easygoing ride quality, but otherwise fails to stand out in this very competitive compact SUV segment. It too is a decent SUV at best. It's comfortable, equipped with relatively easy to use features. There's plenty of seating space for adults in both rows, and the Terrain has a spacious cargo area as well, though it's not top of the class. On the downside, its small turbocharged engine isn't particularly punchy or fuel efficient, and its cabin has a down market appearance. It's also priced roughly around $30,000 and up. Its big change for 2023, its engine output increased by five horsepower. As mentioned, its base MSRP, 30 grand, which is higher than average starting price for the class. It goes to 34,000 and 36,000 for the SLT and AT4 trims. The top Denali trim starts at 38.6 before you add the options. The second to worst on the list is the 2023 Jeep Compass. Again, one of those great ones for off-roading, but it ranks poorly among compact SUVs. It struggles to provide any good on-road manners. Like most Jeeps, it feels at home most when it's off the beaten path, and it boasts user-friendly infotainment controls and lots of seating space. What holds it back is its weak engine, dull handling, marginally subpar gas mileage figures, and below-average cargo space. New for 2023, a new 2-liter direct-injection turbocharged 4-cylinder that delivers 200 horsepower. Front-wheel drive models have been discontinued as the Jeep Active Drive 4x4 system is standard on all Compass models. The Trailhawk Off-Road Specialty model is also equipped with the Jeep Active Drive Low. 
New standard safety systems include drowsy driver detection, rear seat reminder alert, and a security alarm. Now, this has eight different trim levels. The base trim level, which is the sport, starts just over 31.5. The highest trim level, which is the high altitude, starts right around 40 grand. And the worst rated 2023 compact SUV, the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. This doesn't see much improvement at all from its lackluster 2022 model. It trails most, if not all, competitors that offer more cargo space, nicer cabins, sharper infotainment systems, and better driving dynamics. To put it bluntly, it's not a very good SUV. It's simply underwhelming. Though it does have a decent engine and great fuel economy estimates, the Mitsubishi has more negatives than positives. It has below average cargo space for the class, and despite its redesign from 2022, the interior looks outdated and has cheap materials. Critics are split on the SUV's ride, with some saying it's smooth and others complaining that it's uncomfortable. And even though it costs less than most compact SUVs, several competitors provide more bang for the buck. Similarly priced rivals like the Tucson offer an upscale cabin, more cargo and passenger space, and better handling. The big upgrade for 2023, all-wheel drive was added to the standard features list. Otherwise, same as last year. The base MSRP starts right around $25,800, while the top-of-the-line SEL trim starts at under $30,000. These prices are low for the class. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.